Ryman, when you got traded here, is this what you pictured? Um, yeah, I mean, like, uh, my GM was nice enough in Cape Breton to give me an opportunity to win, and I knew uh, we had a lot of talented players here. It's, um, it's unbelievable that we finally, you know, got here and was able to win the Mem Cup. It's, uh, it's a dream come true. It's, it's incredible. Uh, I, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> when you look back on this run with this group, what's going to stand out to you the most? Uh, just our resilience. Like we, we had a tough first round exit. Uh, we were a really good team, but uh, we just didn't have the mindset there. So we got a lot, uh, you know, mentally tougher, and uh, you know, it really paid off uh, this week. We were we were the toughest team mentally, and we, we gave it our all. Well, Memorial Cup champion, has it sunk in yet? Uh, not yet. I think it's just pretty surreal experience, and uh, lots of up and down in the four, last four years. Lots of up and down this year, but. Uh, Finish on top, so you can't ask for better results. Lots of ups and downs, but how worth it does this moment make it? Oh, it, it's a, we're going to be champs for life. It's just amazing, and especially in, at home in St. John in front of a big crowd. And there's so many people that work so hard behind the scene. I'm thinking about Scott or uh, owner Trevor, Anthony, and everybody in the ice. Everybody works hard, so it's just an amazing feeling. You brought a Memorial Cup to St. John. I know another team that you're pretty familiar with that's looking for a championship. You think you could do the same thing there? Uh, yeah, maybe one day. You know, I play hockey to, to win some hockey games. And, uh, yeah, I can't wait to uh, go to the next level and uh, show what I can do. Thank you. Enjoy. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. And I asked you after the second period how you were going to take this over the finish line, even after that late goal. What was the conversation like between the second and the third? Yeah, obviously to try to stay calm, you know, uh, we were really excited going into the second intermission and coming into the third period, but, you know, the leaders did a really good job in the dressing room to just keep the boys calm, and obviously we want to come out strong in the third and, and not play so passive, and uh, it obviously paid off. It did. I've heard a lot of guys say champs for life. Does it feel as good as you thought it would? You know, it's hard, it's hard to describe the feeling, you know, it's, you, you know it's going to be exciting, but uh, no, it's a feeling that you can't really describe. It's unbelievable, and I'm just so proud of all the guys and the staff here. Can you imagine what downtown St. John is going to be like tonight? Oh, it's going to be unbelievable. I can't wait, and tomorrow the parade's going to be even better, so it's going to be a good uh, next few days for sure. Congratulations. Have Thanks. fun. Thanks a lot. Nick, after that late goal towards the end of the third period, things could have gone really differently. Hamilton came out really strong to th start the third, and you shut the door. What was going through your head in those moments, especially through those flurries of saves you had to make? Uh, you know, the word in the room was just to close that game, so I needed to make some 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 great save, and I did. Uh, so, so, you know, uh, it's my job, and, and the guys played so great. That, uh, so I needed to, to make <laughs> those save, and I did, so I'm proud. Ryan Francis just told me that your mindset really changed after you lost in the first round. Did you notice the same thing? Yeah, of course. We, I don't know how to say it, but it just completely changed. And, and our new coach uh, just, just brought some, some, some new things here. And we, were, we, we, we worked so hard in the last month or so, and we are so proud of what we did. Thank you. You should be. Enjoy. Thank you.